the most uh, obvious, of course, is uh, commodity prices and specifically the oil price. It's not so much the actual level of the oil price, but the investor sentiment towards emerging markets that has uh, hit record levels with it, hit record low levels with it. We don't need that much, we just need a stabilization of the commodity market um, to get us out of this uh, spiral of negativity. And that will uh, allow investors to focus on fundamentals again and to realize that their positive returns are actually possible in a o low oil environment. In such a scenario, I expect positive returns for Russian fixed income markets. Well, a, a year ago, Russian credit was a high beta, high conviction story. Today, it's more of an attractive carry play. Um, why is that? That's because compared to other emerging markets, uh, Russia was actually an early mover. This is also because of the political dispute with the West that forced Russia to face the necessary adjustments early on, well before other commodity exporters had the need to do so. And uh, that's now reflected in the prices. Also on a micro level, um, corporates were proactive. We, we saw bond buybacks, we saw uh, balance sheet, uh, restru not restructurings, improvements, balance sheet improvements, and um, that's reflected in the price. So from a relative value perspective, I see better opportunities elsewhere, such as uh, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan. These guys are um, behind doing the necessary uh, adjustments to their um, macro uh, environment. And I also see better value in markets like uh, Mexico or even Brazil to some extent. Nevertheless, Russia has proven to be a very reliable, attractive uh, creditor in a stress scenario, and it's still an overweight in our portfolio. Russian credit already has stabilized. The ruble will continue to trade with oil, which I expect to remain volatile. I don't see much of an impact or any impact at all. The key question for the oil price for me is uh, shale gas producers in the US. And once we see cuts, production cuts from, from them, we will have an impact on the oil price. I don't think the Russian-Saudi agreement will do that.